a G. Man, motherfuck the BOP. Man, motherfuck LP. I keep some foes that'll match your ID. This your shit right here? Um, no, nigga. But like, we fuck with QC in last episode. I'm saying, like, it's, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not hating on Listen, man, I'm only playing this because... Shout out to JT. La- shout out to JT. Out. Shout out to the City Girls. Shout out to QC. Shout out to Barry Gordy. Because I had to go do my deep dive. And I didn't know that Barry Gordy was pimping. Come on. But like, Elaborate. Uh, I'm here for it. There Come was on. a space and time of his life where he was a pimp, nigga. Uh, really? Like soliciting pussy? Pimp. I like it. Hey, uh, Detroit, yeah. I feel that. Pimp. I can see that. Yeah. Pimp. No, I can and see I'm that. And I'm saying that for like that for a reason, because everybody ain't no pimp. Some niggas is pimping. Yeah, I mean niggas don't really it's know about pimp. that culture. But I really know about it. like I mean, I'm not saying I really know about the culture, but like people use that word loosely, like, what's up, pimp? I hate when people, especially white people, be like, What's up, pimp? Like I don't I don't like that term because I know about real pimping. But I guess you're listening to a podcast. It's like we also listen to podcasts, but like I had went back and listened to the Oprah um Barry Gordy masterclass, and I noticed right. that there was no pimp in that. Oh no, shit! Mm. She took it out, but you know she's been a um well, I mean, a culture vulture. Uh, you know, I mean she's just not. You know, Oprah that is. Shit. You know, Oprah she giving she it up. Give you like a, a version of it. She's not putting people on the game for but sure. Like, like I found something else that was like, come on, really giving come on. the Barry Gordy story. This nigga his Jack. journalist back. Come on, son. So it's like I, I mean, we talked about him retiring last time, but it's like if you didn't go do your homework, don't worry about. It. I got, I got the course. Don't worry, guys. We got the cliff notes. Come on. Even true. Yeah, I hate it when niggas like, I don't know about you, but when niggas like, yo, what's up, pimp? I hate that. Like, I cringe, bro, because I know about pimping, bro. And like, a nigga that got daughters and shit, I, I don't like hearing that word, fam. You know what I mean? You know what I'm mean? So it's like, Gah. I hear you. Like, that ain't a cool word to me because I know about that pimp culture, fam. Not that like I'm just like fully in, in depth in it, but what got me exposed to it and let me know that was real is, uh, I think I said it in one of these episodes, like, I went to a bar one time. And there was a bad, bad, baddie there, right? Just dancing by herself. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, bad, bad, baddie, bro. And uh, I, was, I was trying to shoot my shot. And, bro, when I tried to shoot my shot, she said, like, some shit like, yo, you got to go talk to uh, Trayvon if you want to holler at me. And I'm like, <laughs> who is that? Like, your, your pimp? She's like, yeah. And that guy's like, ha, ha, ha. She's like, no, bro. Like, it's going to be like 250 to come off, off of this. And I was like, oh, my God. Is that all? Yeah, that was it, bro. But still, that that's that's expensive, bro. I heard. You, no, like, too. That's all. Yeah, that, that's expensive, fam. What yours be costing? Three ninety nine. Oh, okay. So shit, two fifty is expensive, fam. But nah, yeah, someone might thought you can get it for the forty water. I was just trying to get. The, I was just trying to get the phone number, fam. Like she was like, yeah. Like even for me, like cause like imagine like everybody's at this bar having a good time. Everybody's chopping it up, chilling. And, like, there's this one bad baddie just standing idle in one spot, just dancing. Like, couldn't even move. Like, she was, like, just hoe bait out in, in the sea. You feel me? And uh, I was over there just trying to shoot my shot. Uh, no, that was a pole, my brother. And you got the bait. Nah. I'm, I'm never going to get the pole or the bait or nothing like that. So, pause. Like, fuck all that shit, fam. Speaking of pimps, uh, next weekend, I am definitely about to go see your oh, boy okay, 50. Babe. No, uh, the podcast that my you need to go check out, other than the one you're listening to right now, is Disgraceland. And it's the Motown episode. And boy, did I get some news <laughs> from that <laughs> motherfucker, boy. Pimps, Nigga. prostitutes, the Detroit Mafia, and the sound of teenage America is what they call that hoe. Motown. Yeah, it's real out there, bro. Like, but I, yeah, I, I I went and did my Barry Gordy deep dive because I was trying to figure <laughs> out what he's been doing because he's fucking 89 years old and he just retired. So it's like, we talked about that last episode. Yeah. It's like, I, I tried to figure it out. But, uh, and quality control was always around. That was something he made way back when. Like it was a quality quality control system. But just, just go check it out. Go check out Disgraceland with Motown. If Disgraceland, in, Motown. Like it. I, I don't want to say these niggas' name because they don't fuck with us like that, but it's like a, a iHeart Radio thing. Fam, don't even be like that. All right, well, we can't have the scarcity mentality anymore. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, but it, it's iHeart Radio. Uh, but it's definitely suck a dick, iHeart, like for not putting this on. 
I don't know if it's because our, our logo is too controversial or what, but anyways, go ahead. It's on iHeartRadio. Is it exclusively on iHeart or what? No, no, not at all. But no, nah, it, it gets into Smokey Robinson, you know, Diana Ross, little Stevie Wanda, get into that Jackson. I would like to put it in the show notes. That's why I'm asking, fam. Oh, okay, but. No, tell me what it is, nigga. Like, you. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> I hate you, fam. Nigga, go show me this shit. Look at. <laughs> I hate you, dog. That's one of those things. You cannot fucking see from there. I'm about to be 35 in less than 30 days. Oh, damn. Yeah, in less than 30 days, you fam. Some seeing issues. Nigga, bro. hell yeah. My retina's almost detached, fam. Like, okay, come on. Okay. Didn't know that. Nigga, That's please. S- s- some serious <laughs> shit, bro. Fuck out of here. <laughs> no, I Heart Radio and Jack Brennan. Shout the uh Disgrace What Land. is it? Disgrace Land is the name of the podcast. That's the name of the podcast. And the episode is it's the Motown. Episode. Once you see Motown, like boom, there Motown. you go. Motown. Okay. You're gonna see pimps and prostitutes. Put in the show notes. You're gonna see that and you're gonna know. So Barry Gordy was a pimp. What other takeaways do you have from this? Tell us more. I mean, that's all I really need to know, bro. I mean, I already know about the like the smoke But you're Robinson baffled and, that Oprah had a she had her interview. own master class of the Barry Gordy thing and like it, we did not talk and about that period of his life. I thought that was really important. I think it's very captivative to ask somebody if okay, in their road of entrepreneurship, let's say if you're an entrepreneur, you are actually, because you're doing this shit with us me so it's like hey clayton tell me about your entrepreneurship uh history what are some things you've done and i would think that (laughs) i think that that would be like the hardest entrepreneurial thing that you did ever in life if you did it you kept your hands clean you didn't get caught by the law like that is an entrepreneurial journey like it's like bro you did that and you went legit no, if Jay Z sold that, that drugs, that was one of my issues I had with the, with the Oprah? Oprah joint. But it's like we always have like we know small Harpo's bullshit. Like you know how it is, bro. I don't know. I just know I listened to it. It was good. I mean, because it's very Gordy, and you're telling like he's telling his story. So it's like it's great. It's right. Like, she's asking like the questions. I'm assuming, and like he's giving the answers. But it's like the disgrace land. You really get into like the, the how the he shits. met this person and like oh this person was hanging out here. Like, What's mad crazy is like she he probably said that in front of Oprah and they just edited it out. Oh I know. I'm only I'm only speaking of to like if I'm gonna go get the story. But that's business. Like you know who her sponsors are. It's like White Housewives. You know you know who her you know the people that are tapped into Oprah right. It's like everybody's tapped in. Like her big market. That's the thing. Is like when the movie comes out, and it's like, oh my gosh, I check out the Barry Gordy episode from Oprah. We should go see the movie. Like he seems like a really great guy. And then you can go see the guy, like the damn movie, and he pimping them hoes. And you can be like, oh my gosh, yeah, Oprah, yeah, yeah. you didn't say nothing about pimping hoes. I think that if you don't give a full disclaimer, I, I think Oprah should give a full disclaimer Boom. and do the actual interview because what you're gonna do is make black people look bad. Because tell the full story. Yeah, like, because white tell people the are ups gonna, and the downs. Tell us the shit you actually don't right. like and the shit you like. Because white people are gonna go see that movie and they're like they're gonna think, oh, all not these. to say that they're coming out with a movie, but I mean, I guess they should. But what I'm saying is like white people are gonna go see the movie and they're gonna be like, oh, I know. that's exactly all, what I'm talking about. All these about. blacks do is smoke crack and you know pimp people. It's kind of like like Ray. Like when you saw Ray, you Boom. were like, holy fuck! Exactly. Ray was a wild nigga. This nigga exactly. was on. That's what I want to know. Real hair run. That's why I was like, shout out to the disgrace line because it's like. If I hadn't went and did my deep Respect. dive on my Barry Gordy shit and I wouldn't have known that quality control was already around way before the label. So when you say quality control, do you mean like just the process of quality control or do you mean no, actually he literally QC created, the label? He literally created like way back when, early Motown, it was something called the quality control system. And if you go listen to Disgrace Land. And, I had to check it out. Like, you know. And maybe even the master class, you, you'll understand that like these things were already going on. Right. So when it came to that's why we did last week and I was like, what the fuck? QC, the label is Motown? Got you. Boom. Oh. Yeah. It was already it's established. All the yeah, it was already going on. Got you. And it was I don't know if it was like, oh man, I love that name you got going on, man. Can I can, let me use that? Let's go ahead and tie it in. I don't together. know. But it's like maybe one day I get to talk to Coach K about that. But it's like I just thought that was pretty cool. Uh, nah, that's dope. But uh man, I fuck with anybody like Free JT. I mean, GT's out, so it's great. That's the only reason why I brought that up. Cause, like, yeah, 100%. JT's out, so I figured we'd get back into my Barry Gordy shit. Nah, I like the, the deep dive, and I like you uh, pointing us back to that shit. Um, if you haven't listened, go back and check out episode 41. Yeah, for sure. Um, damn, my mind's blown, bro. Like, 
Yeah. Mm. Um, well. I, speaking I of mind blown, did you see what that shot do to my nigga Snoop Dogg? Nah, I haven't been tapped in on that. Okay, K-O-G. so Snoop Dogg was performing at the Kansas Jayhawks basketball game, and he thought it'd be a good idea if he had a stripper with a stripper. I ball. heard about that, oh, but okay, well, I didn't dig too deep. Well, um, he had to. The athletic director had to come back and apologize. I take full responsibility for not understanding what acrobatic dances are in today's entertainment world and offer my personal apology to anyone who was offended. The audience enjoyed that shit, Snoop said. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what, I'm uh, what was it? Maybe about... I think it was more of a publicity of what I did. They had to cover it up, and I respect them, and it wasn't going to put no smut on their name and say they did anything wrong because they invited me to come do what I do. You know? Um, But, yeah, he he performed live at the halftime show, and he had acrobatic dancers. No, for sure. They're in Wichita, Kansas, or where they at? Uh, it wouldn't matter. It's still Kansas. Or Lawrence or some shit. Uh, so look, else? check it out. Many years ago, I think 2017 oh, or 16. Story? Oh, nigga, yeah. I used to be a traveling salesman. And, um, We're not in Kansas. Anymore. Yeah, nigga. So like my territory was Kansas. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I got to be the black man. You got like flying to Kansas and like selling y'all shit. No, that's what I was thinking mentally. But I was like, you know, it was a lucrative opportunity. And I was like, I'll take this opportunity. So I took the job. And um, my nigga, bro, have you ever been to Kansas? No. Exactly. There's no reason we should be there, bro. I was in Hoxie, Kansas, that. Lawrence, Kansas, Wichita, Kansas. Bro, there, it... I only know the Jayhawks. Universally, Kansas is not uh, cohesive to us. Like, it's, it's, we are a minority, period. But nigga, in Kansas... Bro, it is ridiculous. So I, I definitely could imagine. Are you talking about? I think the Jayhawks. No, I just turned it down. I think the Jayhawks for sure are um, probably in Wichita. They're probably in one of the more um, the more metropolitan type of areas, right? So Wichita would be one of them. They spend the money. Exactly. I know they spend the money. So I know they, they fuck, got with, alumni I fuck with Snoop. I know they're not tripping off of that shit. But uh, it is super conservative. Uh, like when I was driving, like the acrobatic dancers. When with I was the poles. driving, when I was driving in Kansas or whatever. Tons of like windmills, like windmills, or whatever. Like Facts. they're trying to conserve Little energy. Shit. So like when I'm driving over, like I see one of these roads or whatever, and it's like historical Harriet Tubman Road land, or whatever. Like it was like it's like underground railroad, like this, like shit on the highway. I'm like, bro, this is real life slave like land, like like fact checked historical areas. I was driving down. I'm like, oh god, like this is like one of them places, like. I, I got to fill up on gas because, like, when don't I get out, like, yeah. Know like what's going to happen. Yeah. Like, don't know the next time I'm going to see a light. Jack. Don't get me wrong, fam. Like, bro, I'm talking I went stints, like, two hours without no gas stations type shit. And um, it was just an interesting place. Like, literally, like, Harriet Tubman Way type shit. And I'm like, whoa, where the fuck am I at, you know? And th- th- interesting place. Um, no black people at all. I had the most teeth at all time. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere I went, I had the most teeth, bro. Like, seriously. On fleek. Well, he got them niggas like 34 minutes full of Snoop Dogg. And what do you expect, bro? And you got acrobatic dances with Pose. That's a win. I hear you, but it's like, I, know, I know who the people are that go to those Jayhawks, the Jayhawks. games. And they had no Damn. idea that they was going to get... One of my pose. clients graduated from uh, Kansas City, right? Or Kansas, whatever. KU? Yeah. So Wait. he was a Jayhawk. It's He's a Jayhawk. Thing. So one of the CEOs of the company I met with, like, was a Jayhawk, right? Mm-hmm. Corny as shit. White bread. You know what I mean? Like, he was that, like, super corny, bro. And he goes to every game. He's an alumni. You see what I'm saying? He donates to the school. So he is not ready to see strippers. You no, that's, that's, one, that's one thing. I, that's one reason why I brought it up because it's like, wait, he's not ready like for Snoop that. Knew, like Snoop knew what time was, yeah. but Snoop was doing Snoop. But it's just like, wait, Snoop, you can't do that. How the hell did shit. you get the the stripper pose in the hell? Somebody Dude, cleared that. that. Like, Somebody cleared like, that. That's fine. That, like, don't get me wrong. Like Texas is the South, but like we we're 
we're up to speed, bro. But you can't do that shit in Kansas, dog. Like, that's like doing some wild shit in Bozy, Idaho. You can't do that shit in Kansas, fam. Like, they're not ready, bro. You could do that shit in Dallas, Fort Worth. You could do that shit in Albuquerque, New Mexico. But Kansas, fam, they, they're not ready, fam. It was an uproar. I know, bro. He could pull that shit off at of SMU, bro. But he cannot do that shit. I don't think he can pull. I don't think he, he can. I didn't know you could do the stripper pose at college. They love Snoop, bro. I mean, Snoop is always going to be good, but I'm only talking about you gotta fucking the stripper show pose Martha with the Because, I mean, I guess apparently acrobatic dancers is what that nigga said he needed. Okay, whoever, whoever, okay. The nigga that's in college that set it up, I don't know what the name is for that guy. The guy that set up the entertainment or whatever. He, he knew what, he, what the, sh- the shit was, bro. And he got to get a pass through the AD. Who's That's the what I'm trying to tell there. you. So this nigga, no, who, whoever set that up to school, that was his fault, bro. He knew what the shit was. Like, he wants uh, acrobatic dancers. He knew it was about to be strippers, bro. So, like, don't put that shit on Snoop. Well, so you, speaking of, uh, wow, shit. You, you know your, your president got, like, 43 new allegations? Nah, talk to me. I, I kind of don't want to get into this. You ain't got to. But what, just brief me. Brief I me. mean, Donald Trump and the making of a predator features details what? drawn making from 100 a interviews. Nigga. Exactly. Uh, but, like, women are coming out, bro. Apparently. They're trying to Cosby him? Yes. On top of the impeachment. Damn. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Yeah. Uh... He hid behind a Damn, thing. son. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Damn, seriously, what were you from this? Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. Um, I can't say um. Uh, what about uh, your boy 6 9 Getting the bag in the getting the bag in the slammer. I heard about it. Yeah. You got tea bag in the slammer? Oh, wait, wait. It must be a different story. What are you talking about? Definitely not talking about. We uh, talking about? I must have read something different. Yeah, bro. I'm talking, <laughs> about, I'm talking about the nigga get the 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 band. Oh well, shit! The, Come on, that bag. <laughs> oh, not not oh, not the other bag. Oh, bro. I thought, I thought yeah, because he's supposed to be getting out pretty soon. Say he got tea bagged and slammed. Nah, bro. Probably, oh, okay. Probably he got the the big bag. I heard. <laughs> I heard he got the big bag in prison. Uh, huh? <laughs> Talk to me, fam. I heard they dropped them on like Dunkaroos. Uh, you heard about the China shit? China shit? What? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, okay. So the NBA and China are in a dispute. The National Basketball Association? You may have heard about the tensions between the NBA and China. As a result, tensions between the NBA and the players and fans. Um... It's really hurting business, bro. I mean, because okay. I guess initially, um, like, because the real issue is Hong Kong. So I think Houston's owners spoke out about how they should be fighting for their independence, and China didn't like that. But we've always had a great relationship. Houston and China always had a great relationship because of Yao Ming. Boom. That slightly got suffered this week, or maybe it was last week. Because of his comments, because you can't be speaking about other countries when they're having differences. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, um, it it's got really ugly. So, okay. I guess this was like, since June, millions of Hong Kong residents have been like protesting. S- because like you're getting arrested in the streets, bro. Like it's, it's real bad. I'm sure you've seen like some like some type of uh news on that. But your boy from Houston was in support of Hong Kong. Who? Cool. Um Daryl Morey. He owns the Rockets. Hmm. Houston Rockets. Hmm. And that's that's when shit hit the fan. Because like we, we play games in China now. Right. Right, 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 right. So, I mean, your boy Stefan Marbury has a statue out there, bro. No, I mean, NBA games. Mm. Like, the Lakers were in China this week and they Got you. That were I televising the game in China because they don't want to promote the NBA. Got you. Because apparently everybody is in support of Hong Kong. Got you. 
But if you're in support of Hong Kong, you are not in support of China, is what they're saying. Mm. So they're not even trying to show the games. It's like there's millions of people that love the NBA. So Facts. it's really starting to hurt business. And you got people who come into the game with free Hong Kong signs and they're being confiscated. Wow. Yeah, it, it's it's becoming a uh, a muzzle. Like they, they don't want, like if you fill away, like they want you to fill away to yourself. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Exactly. But that's how they are over there, bro. Like they don't play. Yeah, but like, like they, they do we not don't play. have experience with that. Yeah, no, we living free here. It's so weird. And I think we actually take it for granted. That's why I want niggas to... Um, Get out, get up, and get something because niggas do not understand the um the power that we have. Like I know people do feel like, oh, I'm oppressed. I can't voice my opinion. You fucking can. You know what I mean? Like that story you're saying to right that there. Tweet, bro. No uh, shit. Yes, sir. He had to, the the owner of the Houston Rockets niggas had to are, delete the tweet. Niggas don't even know but how the how the Nets and the Lakers had two preseason season games planned in China. Only a few days later. Tickets became unavailable online.